Oh, hi. I'm Joe. Turn this off so you can hear me. Frankly, I'm offended that you've come in here, but I'm kind of glad because I have an important message to speak to you about. You know what that message is? Stars and Stripes Cola. Now, when you think of Stars and Stripes Cola, you think of two things. Cola and America. Two things that go, you know, together very well. Cola and America. Now, I'm going to go on a few things about this. Um, Canada and England, they don't have Stars and Stripes Cola. You want to know why? Well, I'll tell you. Because they don't have stars or stripes on their flags. Frankly, I don't even think they have cola. I think they just have uh, maple syrup. Which would explain the Canadian maple leaf on their flag. And if there's anything yeah, more girly about this country, Canada, let me tell you. It is their money currency. As opposed to any other currency that you can fathom. Looney? I don't get it. You can't be really hardcore. How much you want to play for the slap dance? I got four loony on it. No. You need American dollars. You get that in America. Same as Stars and Stripes Cola. You think of Stars and Stripes Cola, barbecue, hamburgers, hot dogs, ribs, chicken cooked just right, little dogs running around nipping at your feet, but you don't care that he's trying to steal your food. Thank God he's not humping you or Nana. Last thing you need is well, the dog sticking it raw dog inside of Nana and <laughs> ruining the vacation and having something to talk about with all your friends and well, that would that'd be just fine, now that I think about it. It'd be great. A couple other things that uh, I would like to talk to you about. Comments, we don't have any yet. So if you leave comments, we uh, want you to know that we will get back to you. We don't censor our comments, because freedom of speech is another thing American. That's something Canada and England can't offer. Now, if you want to write to us, fan mail, hate mail, we don't care. We will feature you in a segment. We will respond to your uh, emails, your comments. If you need to maybe boost up your own page. Hey, Diabetic and Joe. How awesome are we? So awesome that we can do this. Now, you see those commercials that are infomercials for like the magic bullet. Let me tell you, I don't want to cook anything at 3 in the morning. I don't know why they do that. Frankly, at that time, I'm looking for porn. Now, be it that I only have basic cable and I don't have HBO, I can't get it. What I can get, between channel 31 and 66, the hours of 4 and 6, you will find Girls Gone Wild commercials. Or established men. And, well, frankly, if that's all you can get, you take what you can get. If you're poor, like me, I'm with you, buddy. Now, here at Diabetic and Joe Incorporated, we love our viewers. We've just started this up. And we're going to be taken down in following episodes. Twilight. Edward. He's on our list. Obama. Maybe on our list. We know who's really going to be on our list. Paris fucking Hilton. Now, you may ask, why am I on this vendetta? Well, I'll tell you why I'm on the vendetta. I don't like people getting, you know, credit, or attention for things that they don't need. Did you know Lindsay Lohan blew a guy in an alleyway? Google it. It'll show you a picture. Terrible. And another thing, have you ever noticed when you see a celebrity nipple slip, their nipples look terrible than what you had imagined? My god, there was one about Avril Lavigne and she looks so haggard, I don't even know how I didn't throw up. Never mind, I did throw up. You know why? Because it was nasty. She made something complicated with my sexuality, I'll tell you that. Well, that about does it for this episode of Diabetic and Joe. Not so much fixing the biz this time as much as my love for Stars and Stripes Cola. <laughs>